Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to this special meeting of poetry and we bring you news from Zolana's closing of the year session. Whew. It's gonna be interesting because I did not expect that uh, we were given a last moment acknowledgement of this. I received an invitation yesterday. We knew about it on the Discord maybe about two days, I think. So it's kind of on the whim, right? That I record this and we will see. So, welcome. Before we can do anything here tonight, I need a few moments of silence. If you can spare me such, I need to open the space for us all. So we can be here safely. Well, however safe one can be in this chaotic world. Right. Maybe, maybe the springtime, son, of the east resurrect our soils. And the summer sun of the south help our fire rise. May the autumn sun of the west blow winds of calm and spoils, and the winter sun of the north, the be cool pool for our demise. Huh. I almost said cool. <laughs> May we rise out of the murky dark. Have a great day. And greet the day so newly spot. May our inner subtle humble hum help us see the sun behind the sun. May the spirits protect from ill intent and the moon attract emotions felt. Be here with me as I with, uh, with you speak or be silent. Your heart is your art. Take part in what is woven. This space is now open. And with this big bang of a theory of poetry, I welcome you all to, let me see how she named it for me, to the Poetry Night of Closure. <laughs> Welcome seekers, curious souls, you'll be here with yourself, together, how darn lovely, right. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm having some legs, Ooh, scary. Right. We got some heavy hitters here tonight, such as Bertel and my legs, of course, apparently. Not sure what's going on. We also have Naima, who almost killed me. We have Reiniko, a murderer. What the fuck is going on? Yamon, she says. Yamon, Yamon. What the hell is going on? Hmm <laughs> hmm. Okay, there's something up. I'm gonna try to resolve this. Name. Name be good. My name is Zolema, and I'm just here to hold a little space for you.
but a be hoping you all can help create it. Don't wanna do it all myself. Besides, maybe you're already getting bored of me. So I will be. We'll sit down soon. This be a night of poetry, or songs, or silence, to speak that which our hearts desire. So, let you feel it, the flow, speak up, and enter the center. But before you do, please speak your name. And whenever anyone's up here, please listen. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because, well, in my countdown from three, oh no, and she wanna grab the, and they all say your names, right? Right, ready? No, I'm not ready. Give me one second. I was not preparing that. Three, two, one. <sighs> so many names. I'm not gonna read them all. <laughs> to observe a little bit the FPS so I'm gonna be recording like it empty <laughs> there you go pretty hard to pick anything up and everyone be speaking at once so give the one in the middle some leeway that be heard looks like the FPS calm down probably because I was ranking a little bit more than just for the workup and the cam the background ah that's good I'm still tired for the reason <sighs> so so where was I? Ah yes. But <coughs> you didn't say your name? Ah oh, yeah. I didn't. Well, I did before, so that be yeah, oh, that so that be all you get. <laughs> I was so speaking to Marty. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Happens to the best of us, sorry. Happens to the best of us. You better not pull some mind flare tricks on us this time. Now the team of the evening, evening is closer. But if you wanna say anything else about anything, you're welcome. There be no must here. Simply guidelines. So with that, I will stop talking and let anyone take the center. Be brave. I'm sure they will. Zoli, I'm sure they will. And the first contender in the ring, coming from the left, is Olaf and behold. <laughs> Quite curious what he presents. 
Okay. What do you want me to do? Do we have a pawn? Uh, no. At all? No. People with poems. Oh, sorry, everybody. <laughs> Just... Oh, tears. Oh, oh, okay. This one is a poem from uh, Zolma's meeting or uh, end of the year poetic um, celebration. I managed somehow not to record this one properly. So I'm gonna re-record this just real quick from a screenshot. Um, Inetus stands up unarmed and echoing his ever-present words with a simple short length of hollow dried bamboo and a stick. He gazes slowly around those gathered and take a takes a small bow. No smile on his lips, no expression, only a perfect and serene calm. He strikes the bamboo once and his face changes in an instant. His expression becomes that of wonder and awe as he peers past the group, looking out to the horizon and then up towards the sky in a clear voice that is somehow still hushed and filled with reverence. He begins, we look to the sky, we see what lies ahead, but Inetus closes his eyes and smiles softly before uttering the final line. This year has been good. Inetus strikes the bamboo again, falling into a neutral expression as he bows once more and kneels again. It was a nice poem, <laughs> even though it was more about emote, but uh, I can change this. It's, it was so nice. Yeah! Next up is Adranoi from the right corner. Her name is Chelas. We will be recording her on the weekend as well because there is um, still the poetry I missed on uh, the beginning of this month. So, this is my third gathering. Uh, I quite love it. It's lovely, all lives. It doesn't matter whether it's Carl who's making them or Reiniko, they all are all excellent. <coughs> I hope what I prepared is to your liking. <coughs> Black and sands beneath a darker sky. Their own stars glisten, and the winds whisper. Not the sun, not the moon, not a figure walks by. On this bed of grain, I rest my soul, a lonely drifter. <coughs> Pardon? My journey is long, so my respite is short. Thus I push my body ever forward to see her again like I did in that court. I trudge to the jewel of the north. I whisper, yet my voice yells aloud through the void. To that faded one I seek. My usher desert rose, your petals of cloud. Oh, I so long here, 
your soulful voice speak. Mm, nice, nice. I like it, I like it. It was really nice. Thank you very much, Xella. Oh my fucking god, that's genius! Our next representative is Jordi. And I got something to share with y'all. Are you gonna on a spell or something? <sighs> Doesn't matter. Before I get on to it, a dear friend of mine passed away last night. Her name was Elarian Winterbreaker. And this is Globusho, just felt right. Is it too late for one last chance? You are no longer somewhere I can see. Yet in your own happenstance, if reversed, you would uh, have swapped places with me. Without a second thought. But this time silence kept this from being true. And so pain was all that was brought. Too late for, for one's last chance with you. Yet I feel in my core, heart and soul, that somewhere around, uh, somewhere something still lingers. But it weighs heavy. Takes it takes its toll. What I would give to grasp it with my fingers. How I wish you were here. Elevated. By our friendship must sadly never more. No lang no longer can our time be elaborated. Boom and that thought crumbles me core. May you rest with all the others until I find you in the great expanse. With tell with tell Drassil's fathers, mothers, sisters and brothers when we all get the one last chance. Nice work. It was nice and clean. Thank you very much. It is time for Nainiko. She has come to murder me once more. Last time she tried it with 12 times something. Who knows what will it be now. Wonderful words. Hi all. I'm Rain. And while my story is not that free of loss, I have written a poem for this year strange as it may have been. It has been my most memorable and I wanted to honor it. You scare me, Rainy. You scare me. Please be kind to me. <laughs> I have only one vocal course. Lumbering in stasis at her. Much like a blanket of sleep, a bright flash of light inspires me to action. There is a blanket of smoke and a rubble. I must get out, or I'm done, taking flight towards the outside, choking on fumes, I must make it.
mending, uh, mending those who make it out, helping those who remain within. I will aid them. I must do my best. But I must remember to also rest. My clutch is gone, and I miss them so. Aspects guiding. I must find my place. Seek out my brother. As I as I have no one else, we travel to the lion's den to seek out our friend. At the gates we get turned away. Say or burn. Say or burn. Burn. Have no right to stay. We travel to the city of mages. As we hear, they are as wise as sages. In the city of clouds, knowledge and wonder about a purpose group of people give us footing for our travel. Feels like there is something missing. The year passes with clothes of fashion, we mark our home and make our friends, we gather strength and prove our worth, we gather strength by the warm heart. The year of awakening, you'll call and beckon, I seek this world with bright new eyes. This bright new board of ours. I have learned so much already. Fashion, foods, and poetry, and much more fill up my mind. And of causes, I have championed a few. I represented my berm, fought for the future. From the timelines, chaotic and wild, to the dream, lush and in bloom. The year of awakening, your call and back. I seek this world with bright new eyes. Nice work. And for once you didn't try to kill me. Thank you very much, Reiniko.
it seems we have our first big. Oh, okay. I'm just kidding. This is the second big hitter today. It's Pertle, obviously. <laughs> Hello, Pertle. We see you there. Bad. <sighs> I am Battle Thomas Plain, as some of you might know. And I got another poem about coming to terms with a lost, lost ones. I didn't write it though. Was it Orin? Or maybe Jack. Someone I name and Jack could be my beaded. But I better dedicate this to my uncle and grandfather. That's titled At night the moon now shines the memory of you. At night the moon now shines the memory of you. Everything disappeared. Behind thousand years mist of oblivion. Looking back now with your eyes in a dream penetrating the longing into your soul. And a rare bird sing in my heart. You will come home forever and ever and ever in my heart eternally. Everywhere, throughout all. Mm-hmm. For a new year, this is getting rather depressing. But good work, Bertel. Good work. Thank you. It seems we have a conspiracy go uh, going here. Because the next one to enter the stage was Naima. Is this an attempt on my life once more? Or perhaps it is just a happy coincidence that the hardest hitters came one after another. <laughs> yeah, happy Neymar! Yeah, we know, we know, darling. <laughs> I wrote this poem and performed it at the last poetry society meeting. Oh, you did! Ooh. So we're getting a repertoire. Excellent! Excellent! I shouldn't probably make that many mistakes in that one then. <laughs> It 
be about the spirit of Winterfell and Sinus. There will be a few days of Winterfell left. I thought, why not? Mm? Oh, I think I remember. It was the difficult one. It certainly was difficult to read. Uh, apologies in advance, cause it'd be a little long in it. It certainly was long. <laughs> the spirit of the wind that be a mystery the most. Is it purely a fiction, or is it really a ghost? Let me tell you a tale as true as I know it. The spirit be real, it just never show it. The tale be sad, but it surely is true. You see, the spirit be like me and you. But it lives in our hearts, our minds, in the air. It be keeping the peace so that winter be spared. Yeah, see, the spirit grew sad and in pain. All the wars and the fighting were causing its strain. Its power was fading. Unsure what to do, the spirit gave up and didn't have a clue. It wandered unseen throughout battles all plenty. With more and more bloodshed, it began to feel empty, till it found itself stood at the edge of the boat. It stood there for years, though its thoughts never to unfurl. But one day it came in the spirit of a child, the child a victim of a battle so wild. She spoke to the spirit and asked it what's wrong. It said, Winterbell spirit be no longer strong. The child replied, look out there in nature. So don't be so blue. The power of winter bestowed upon you. The spirit smiled, but its sadness ran deep. Young children should live, not forced eternal sleep. The ghostly child took the spirit in hand. But there's no hope without you. You have to understand the powers within you. Your will is just lost by the things you have seen or gone at what cost. Winterwell is upon them, so you must not give up. I can bring them together to talk and make up. The spirit blinked and listened to her plea. Can be right, it said. This way, come with me. Hand in hand, they went back to the battlefield. The battle still roaring, with swords and with shield. The spirit raised a hand up high and cast a spell of snow from the sky. One by one, the fighters stopped. They looked around, there were weapons dropped. At first confused, but soon enough, they all shook hands, gave gifts and stuff. <laughs> That's all it took, I hear you ask. Well, magic be strange, a uh, wondrous task. How do you do it? The spirit, child spirit exclaimed. I am the winter well spirit. For binnacles I'm famed. Since then, the spirit of winter grew strong. Proving all of us can just get along. So happy winter well from me unto you. May the spirit of winter watch over you too.
Uh, it's still as long as it was before. Ouch. Thanks. Word of thanks. <laughs> What a way to war up up a winter swell. Seems we have a bunch of boys around here. Who would have thought? I would. Right. I have written up something. See if I can remember it. I call it closure. Yes, that be how far my imagination took me. Anyway. And do things end. And do things end. When we say they do. When we are finally through. What does it? But what does it be to be true? Do we really ever have a clue? Maybe. Maybe closure means we are and we have felt it all. And we have risen high and embraced our fall. When we have succeeded and failed with our inner call. When we no longer feeling stall. When heaven and hell has woven their spell. When we have written our story and know why we dwelt, why we got stuck, why nothing seemed different, why life it sucked, why all felt indifferent. Maybe it was because we didn't feel. Maybe because we run from the real. Maybe that's why things don't end. Because change is not allowed to blend. To blend and mend for inner wounds. Allow the shine of sun and moon. So let us all be here and now. And to our past, just take a bow. For it taught us all we know. Come, my friend. And 
close the show. <laughs> nice one, nice one, nice one. Good work. What do you do? You get another brilliant idea. Hello, my name is Bo. Bo. <laughs> I almost, almost read it as dwarf. <laughs> Hello, my name is dwarf. <laughs> we need a dwarf named dwarf. Just different a little bit. <laughs> I have two songs for you tonight. The first one is rather quick, so if you uh, don't pay attention, it might get past you. Ready? No. Thank you. And for my next song, <laughs> I think we got pranked here. This was a scam. <laughs> it's called The King Under the Hill. It's relatively close to the tonight's main theme closure. Excellent, excellent. See, we dwarves, at least those in the hard heroes, tra treat or dead differently. While me, while we may grieve. We celebrate the life they had. Knowing, knowing uh, that their spirit is within uh, the halls of our ancestors. We do not cry. We celebrate their life. Now let me sing unto you my people's song. Singing dwarf. Oof. I'm scared. <laughs> we are in danger in fact. Beware his maw, king of the underground. One who takes the strongest below. Tale of a dragon who sundered the earth. And one who took me great grandfather too. Ah, it's Deathwing. It's clearly Deathwing. Paul begins clapping along a fast paced and a rhythmic tune that gradually picks up in the beat. Hey! Hey! Hey. Honestly, I'm just seeing Stewie going, Mom, 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 Mommy, Mommy. <laughs> I will tell you the story from many years ago, before we had taken Heart Hills for our own. A fearsome monster of the bully was lurking upon the hills of our home. Her clansmen would have would leave and they seldom return, and those who did thought of the beast who incurred, the wrath of the gods who lived beneath the hills, the one that all eh, we called the king. Eh, eh, eh. 
No one from Iron Forge would come to our aid, as our children would suffer day after day. Our supplies would soon drain, only there for their gain. A lack of supply made for the great pay. No longer could we wait for someone to arrive. We decided that we could no longer stand by. With the strongest of us taking the bow, just of us, we've finally taken down the king. Boom, crash, when the raging storm, boom, crash, as we face down our foe, boom, crash, when the tail of the beast. But we are not easy to beat. Boom, crash, as the battle wore on. Boom crash, our men remained so strong. Boom crash, as we thought we won. The bastard, he breached and took one of us down. Slowly down the tune, both slow stumps the tune, the rhythm clearly coming to a more slow and solemn melody as he ushered the next words. It was darker than night. In the maw of the beast, all he could taste was his blood and defeat. But even as he knew he and the end was approaching, he knew death was waiting for him. You want to know what he did? You want to know what he did? I'll tell you what he did. He roared louder than a thunder and pummel the king inside out. Both just as the lion was delivered, the new steel of the song rises once more to its cheeky and upbeat state of rhythm. We he 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 and so the black drake was vanquished. Killed under the mountain dome, buried beneath the earth along with the champion of our home. A good one. Though it was so fucking fast, I couldn't keep up. But a good one. Good job, Paul. Good job. Yeah! <laughs> right. This is what I wrote after a friend of mine was lost, but this is prior to that things that have uh, occurred. And this is coming from Martin. Ooh, Martin Bujin. <laughs> it is closure, but not of it. I learned common as yeah as you can hear. Jin would begin his poem, or rather the chant, with a clash of his stave into the floor. I come here to ya on this eve, the born loss of the of her daughter. The king of the Evans let her name be remembered, but not written. Mm -hmm. 
Martin would carry on his clash of stave and on the ground. Slain by demons, slain by father too. Once the name Gredor rang out the hills of the Hillsblad Hills and in South Shore especially. <sighs> Margin would keep slamming his stave in the ground into the ground. Now the father of the twisted dynasty of despite blood, the foe that I mentioned of poem prior spoke of this foe, he has be a blight, a right that he might wish to, to smite. However, old Margin saw the result of his treachery, left a grisly scene on strangled thorn lush gleam. This, this hurt me most from uh, my grandson. Was the one to see this on words.
For there was a hot outpost overlooking this poor where we met would be to others end. This however however is where that ends. But I warn you this tale is not fully ended. For you see this story has no glee. No joy for that joy as a ploy in this demon's gain. The mighty soldier that I laid to rest is now played like a game of chess. The fell that would befell is a hail that would pail on that gloomy dale. And now this is where the tale must not end hell, but I may raise this end to this hero to Shadenixia Gredor. May she soon rest again.
margin would then just collapse to the floor. A sudden flash of emotion would hit him and he would begin to sob. I'm guessing that's the end of the poem. This was a one that I kept for a long time. Let's see, can I? Nope, I cannot reach that far. Place. Um, holy shit, that gotten so many here. Thanks for sharing your heart, courageous one. Forgive me, all this is... No worries, your heart be welcome here, just as you are. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna turn off the camera now. <laughs> Greetings, I'm Ladref. Last time I kept boarding, perhaps this time you will find me more light-hearted. Oh, I'm curious now. Color me impressed, color me uh, interested. Need to find something real quick. In a realm painted red with memories sweet, a blood-borne world in a life law now obsolete, banished afar from the embrace of home, lost in a world where echoes roam. Amidst un unfamiliar skies of blue, In lands where dreams and hu hues renew. Struggling to mend what was torn. She found solace in friendships born. Their laughter a cure for wounds untold. Their bond a lifeline, strong and bold. Through, her, through their eyes a different view. New purpose part, her spirit grew. In an unknown realm, where echoes play, healing whispers found their say. In the embrace of friends sincere, a new horizon now so clear.
it was a good one. Nice and sweet. Good job, lady. You smart. You very smart. We the best. You a genius. Another heavy hitter. It's um, um Hatir. Our lovely lovely darling. Or perhaps it is Vivi. Hatir is helping her with words. We shall find out. No, it looks like maybe gave her something. While I do not have many poems about the loss, I do have a fair collection still. But I only intend to share one, which two people wish to hear the most. One about myself, or one about the small, adorable critters. I would say the second. Neither. <laughs> Both could work as well, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, we have time. <laughs> Myself, it is then. And we will see if there is time after. The one is titled. Peace of mind. To some of its to some it is insanity, and not case lost in a her own mind. An often forgotten vanity. My own quiet place to unwind. In in a world where everything is loud, overwhelming with noise of all kind. I use it to be my shroud, a boon to shelter my own mind. A distant cliff, a lonely tree, void of any humanity. A far away shore by the sea, No one shouting profanity. I feel at peace. I feel at one with the wild. Others find it boring, dull, straight weird. But not me. I simply prefer it mild. It is what I need to have my mind cleared. To some, I'm alone. Freak who plays a tune. To others, a closed book. Just waiting for the plot hook. Some even called me a wife. <sighs> Some have even called me boys. When I tell them what I prize, in my own mind, I'm neither. Truth is, I just need a breather, an escape from the stress, from all the chaos and the mess. And my escape is a simple chord, something for both commons and lord, pleasing to the alliance and horde, waiting for just the time. When that night reaches its prime, a jingle for the nighty wanderer, a song for the love struck ponderer, a tune for a wayward son, a melody for the fortunate one, a sound of silence for none, 
Nebálat for the rising sun. <laughs> we are smoking a lot today. <laughs> a peaceful bubble in the city of stone. The bushes my garden, the wall my throne. For some I am truly alone. Some, someone worships a moon. For others a closed book. My cover above a second look. And apparently I'm wise with infinitely deep eyes. To some it is insanity. A nutcase lost in her own mind. I just have my own own reality. The most pleasant place I could find. <laughs> Nice one, Hati. Nice one. Good job. And I think I even remember it in the past. Oh my fucking god, that's genius! Well then, the second one is called to each and every one of them. To all the squirrels I have loved before. You are still loved. I never thought you are bored. Even as you steal my nuts for your winter store. I do not get mad for you, I simply get more. To all the squirrels who shared my life, this what I heard, that's guaranteed, through thick and thin, through the joy and strife. Even as a young elf, when I was practicing the fight. To all the squirrels who cared for me, when I was lonely staring out at sea. As if civilization intending to plea. You would always help and return me to plea. The all, to all the squirrels I once caressed. With a silver fool that could only be blessed. For a thick coat, for a winter. Ma, you were dressed. A simple touch to ease a mind to distressed. To all the squirrels through time and space, somehow you remain the lovable, lovable race. Jumping from twig to branch with grace, even so distant my heart has made you a place. To all the squirrels I love despite their scars, do not doubt you still belong with the stars. And the road forward is not mine, it is ours. To all the squirrels I set sail to sea, making their home in an exotic tree, sharing their yard with some buzzing bee, doing what they do, living all so carefree. To all the squirrels I have loved and lost, Regardless if it was to age or frost, or if you are protected your home with a cost. To all the squirrels hidden till now, proudly sitting on their secret bow. Master of sneaking, critters with high brow. I found you at last and gave you a bow. To all the squirrels burrowed beneath, adapting with ever so sharp teeth, making their home in an unlikely heath. To all the squirrels I have been before, with the help of my druidic lore, an easy escape from the daily chore. And with a new set of eyes to explore. To all the squirrels I have yet to meet. I am determined to bring you a treat. Regardless if nuts, seeds or even a beet. Even if you shy away, the sight will be sweet. And finally. To all the squirrels I might never find. 
either because of my scattered mind or maybe my age will make me blind <laughs> even if I may never learn your name to me you are loved all the same <laughs> nice one and Vivi you sneaky sneaky toy user <laughs> I saw you there <laughs> I saw you use the toy. Good work though. Both of you. And we have a new contender, Katarina. I want to coffee. Oh, I'm gonna go sleep soon, so never mind. My name is Katrina Lin. I'm not really a poet, but I did scribble down something a few years ago that I think might fit the theme, if you will indulge me. I think the appropriate would be uh, if you would indulge me, but hey, it's a detail. I call this one the Rhyme of the Phoenix. It will always hurt tremendously to die in your own flame. And to be reborn eventually. From ashes causes pain. But in the end, the too great delight. True strength. I, uh, true strength and will once more. Our fire shall burn ever so bright, and we will spread our wings and soar. Nice. Good job, Katie. Good job. <laughs> Next up is a little Talosian elf. Her name is Bianca. So much she did share. It was for a friend and not written by me. Okie dokie. Deep in the mountains as darkness turns to dawn. A lone doe blows for her fawn. That's it. Okay. You smart. You very smart. We the best. You a genius. It was good. 
Nice, short. We have another one here. Now let's look at this. This time her name is Inia. Inai. Good evening and light's blessing to you all. My name is Inai. In the cosmic dance of words untold, realize your fate. As the realms collide and the stories unfold, embrace the chaos, find the gate. Truth hides the cracks between lies, the well beckons where the soul flies. Let go of burdens, shed the weight, the labyrinth center, find your state. Demon slain, battles won and lost, wisdom blooms, a silent frost. Threads untangled, destined alive. Destinies aligned in the metaphoris, in the metapho metamorphosis, find the sign. You people have to choose the most difficult parts, huh? From the shattered charts, new words arise, phoenix reborn, reborn where the spirit flies. Six billion faceless, within and without, discover through, discover through found, dispels the, dispel the doubt. So heed these whispers from realms afar. In symbolic journey, find who you are. Um, can I get a map to that? I'm kind of lost. <laughs> I'm ha having a hard time finding even the first step, so I'm giving up on the journey. I'm just gonna be whoever I am right now, I guess. <laughs> oh my fucking god, that's genius! We are getting another battle woman. A battle poem. And if the schedule is right, yeah, it will be the last one. A finisher blow from Bertel Wobble Spring. He will be the one to deliver the finishing move. So this is more or less the same uh, theme as the last one, and also was written by this uh, Jacoby Leiby. And it's titled To the Stars. Uh-huh, uh-huh. To the Stars, to the Stars. Somewhere over the ocean. Wave breaks against the shore. Where the dead are carried home in the city where they live. The house has got stars for windows. And I feel when you gaze longingly at the moon through your star window. From your house in the golden town, on that foreign shore, thou on me. Down on me, 
through dark oceans, universes apart. And I feel the sorrow of my heart light up. As I return in a blissful glimpse, a smile across time, death, life. An eternal caress, never forgotten. Oh, nice one. Good job, Bertie. Good job. Oh, here he is. What do you do? You get another brilliant idea. Apparently, we have one more horror. This time from Skeletorius by Blood. I believe that was the name I mentioned in. Uh, Margins um, poem. I will have to use a screenshot because I missed one poem uh, in terms of recording. Some of you I recognize. This will be quick poem, a quick poem I made up that are rather fast, really. I think it's funny, but I shall see if you all chuckle too. Name! I wanna hear your name! There's a bond, that is. <laughs> I was expecting a full on car and mode scratteries. You will get my son name after. I call this one closure and victory. It is that time that I joy for closure, the tie of loose ends.
a time to end what has prevented me before. The cutting of vines, the crushing of twigs, the burning of embers. Arrogance manifest is what I am. The shadow over your shoulder, shoulder, a shoulder of trees and leaves fall. Scratterius would then chuckle and grin all around. I am victory, pure victory. However, for whom is the victor? It's who is to fall. Target spotted. Scraturius then out of the blue, or rather, as many did appear, he would take out his blade and chuckle louder. With more arrogance on show, he would point it close 
to Morinda. What the fuck is Morinda? Rage now on his face. Huh. Where is margin? I will make this quick and simple. Answer me now. <laughs> you are late as always. Mr. Arrogance. <laughs> I need answers now. <laughs> then go look for them elsewhere. I have none for the year. Alexia is not going to be the f f first. <laughs> <laughs> it is time you take your leave. Oh, I agree. Fool this man! <laughs> <laughs> now, one final, very short poem to tie this off properly. Call six plus words of moving on. <laughs> I'm scared that it might be another. Math thing. Could have, did not move on, and you are ready. It was fast, sweet, simple, good job. Very good job. I thank the soil for keeping us here grounded. I thank the fire for keeping us passionate. For keeping us strong against bullshit. <laughs> Those are some strong fighting words, Lemma. <laughs> I thank the winds for teaching us. 
to stand strong in its storm. I thank the Father for cleansing our bodies. I thank the Spirit for holding us here, holding us here. I thank all the wondrous souls gathered here tonight. You are, you all truly matter, you all truly shine, you all truly give it, you truly give the, that is worth, I love you. Hempis, you came late, shush. And thank you to the vlog. Because you somehow exist in all of us, one way or another. You? <laughs> this circle is now closed. 